What up guys, Crazy Gunner here. We're doing an oil change on a 2017 Chevy Silverado with a 4.3 Vortec in it. So I can't find a good video online to show the 4.3 Vortec getting an oil change. You could get the 5.3 and the 6.0 and also the 6.6 .6 Duramax. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need six quarts of any oil that's Dextros approved with your oil filter this is what I went with I recommend doing every 5,000 mile oil change or 10,000 mile oil change nothing more or nothing less to waste money so this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need dirty rags or rags you could throw away some funnels catch can tiny little toolbox just to take the drain plug out and if the oil filter is stubborn and won't come off you can poke this through it and pry it off and that's why I have this here so the dealers only done this vehicle and this is my first time doing it. and get yourself some gloves because you're gonna get dirty so with the first thing let's pop open the hood and take a look and this right here this yellow thing is your oil check which I like to just pull out take a look which it says it's full you can see it's quite dirty as well being pretty surprised and I also like to put it back but obviously not all the way about right there and we'll loosen up the fill cap put it right there check but you can see some o-ring action right there I don't know if that's good or not, but we'll go later. Take a look at everything. Wipe it off. Now let's go on the bottom of the car. So now that you're under the truck, you're going to be using your 15 millimeter. And this right here is your drain bolt. It's going to shoot back towards the sway bar. So you're going to want to put your drain pan right there. And this is only for six cylinders. And then you're going to look up, which is going to be right where this plastic skid plate is. You're going to see some sort of hole. And then you're going to see the oil filter, which is right here. Doesn't look hard to get to, but you never really know. Maybe you could start twisting it. And just remember, this oil is going to be hot. You want to drive the vehicle beforehand. So let's do the drain bolt. It's going to shoot back into the pan and go from there. So now that you broke the, the bolt loose or the drain plug, it's gonna have some resistance behind it depending on who did your oil change. They might have really, really tightened it. And that's what I had a problem here, is the dealer really, really tightened it. So you can get on top and, you know, it's gonna be extremely hot so watch yourself guys so we're just gonna let this drain and uh, we're gonna start seeing if we can't get that oil filter off so now that I couldn't if the oil filter was way too tight you just pop it with the screwdriver and I'm just gonna let it kind of drain a little bit um, and then I'll show you guys you can just use some leverage on it and pop it out so I'm just gonna let it drain and then I'll show you how to pry on it and get it out it's pretty easy so now that it's draining uh, we'll just let it drain for a little bit and then when it slowly stops draining then we'll slowly start unloosening it which you could probably see now it is actually unloosening itself the dealer put it on way too tight now that the filter off is off make sure that the filter gasket is not on here clean up the surface and we'll go get the new filter and install it really quick and put the drain plug back so let's do that really quick so you're going to want to put your drain plug back in make sure it is good we cleaned up the surface as well around it so you're going to twist it on there 
and uh, this is going to be the hard part so I'm going to need two hands so you're going to come up from the hole and put it right there and just start twisting it one snug okay there you go you're basically 80% done so let's go up on the top and fill her up That is absolutely perfect. We're going to put it back in. You're going to take your oil fill cap, put it back on your truck. It's kind of a weird place. Put it right back on, tighten it, push it back on, take a rag, wipe off anything that fill all over this truck just in case and now you're gonna want to start it up so when you get in your truck turn your key into the ignition do not turn it on just yet we're gonna go through some of the settings so we're gonna find the oil oil life press set control so we want to reset it yes we do there we go, you set your oil. Now let's turn it on. Let's wait till the oil pressure is good. And let's do it. Oil pressure is normal. Everything's normal. 100% oil remaining. Now, other thing. Let's take your guys' stickers off. If you got a sticker on your machine or your truck, it's a fleet vehicle. So we're gonna clean this surface up and we're gonna put our new one on there. O'Reilly's actually gives these for free and we'll just put it right back on there. Put the date and the time and uh, you guys probably don't need to see that, but I'm gonna clean this up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video on your Chevy Silverado 4.3 liter Vortec or Ecotech. <laughs> That's a Vortec. Um, maintenance oil change. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. You know, I'm not a professional. I don't know all the magic things on oil changes, but I know saving a couple bucks, in this case, 60 to 60 to 65 dollars doing it yourself is worth it. So, Catch you guys on the next video. Um, comment if you got any questions. Share, like, subscribe. You know, this is something different. Something different. We got the taco right there, which you guys all know that are subbed. So, like, subscribe, share, comment. Do whatever you got to do. Catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.